Unmaskers, welcome to my channel Unmask It Now. Thanks for tuning in today. If you're a Windows administrator and worked in AWS, you've probably launched and logged in to an Amazon EC2 Windows instance before. And that's great. But I'm not here to talk about that. Have you ever wondered what makes EC2 on Windows different from running Windows on premises or on other clouds? For example, where did that wallpaper come from? Or how did I get my Windows local administrator password for login? If you've ever asked yourself these questions and more, the answer to that is EC2 config. But wait, what's EC2 launch then? Or what's EC2 launch v2? Or how is that even related to EC2 config? Or is it even? That's what I want to dedicate today's episode for. But before we get to the house, I want to answer the what's and the why's. What is EC2 config, EC2 launch, and EC2 launch v2? What sets one apart from the other? Or why do I even need this? To keep it simple, they are launch agents on EC2 windows that start when an instance boots. They perform startup tasks each time you stop or start the instance, or even at times, some of those tasks can be run on demand. They are optional services, but recommended since you get access to certain advanced features that make configuring and working with Windows on EC2 a lot simpler. There are a number of differences between these launch agents, and I will link a detailed comparison chart from the AWS public documentation in the description below. But the key distinguishing points to remember are, first, the operating system support. If you use a Windows Server AMI provided by AWS, these agents are installed by default. However, the choice of agent that comes by default depends on the OS version. Let's understand that. EC2 config was the very first agent introduced for EC2 Windows instances. All Windows AMIs for Windows Server 2012 R2 and earlier have EC2 config service installed by default. Starting with the release of Windows Server 2016 AMIs, EC2 launch replaced EC2 config in these AMIs. So Windows Server AMIs for 2016 and 2019 versions come with EC2 launch agent installed by default. Recently, with the release of Windows Server 2022 AMIs, EC2 launch version 2, or better known as EC2 launch v2, is the default version installed. In fact, EC2 launch v2 is the latest service for all supported versions of Windows. This has now completely replaced both EC2 config and EC2 launch. Even though EC2 Launch v2 comes by default on Windows Server 2022, you do have the provision to choose an AMI that comes with EC2 Launch v2 as the default. Simply look out for an AMI that is prefixed with EC2 Launch v2 hyphen Windows Server in its AMI description. An example of this can be seen on the screen. What does this mean now? You can now simply use a single launch agent for all supported versions of Windows and don't have to worry about upgrading or maintenance of these agents across different Windows Server versions in your environment. This single agent that you can use across all Windows servers is easy to launch v2. Let's talk about the second difference now. When it comes to the runtime, when you install EC2 config and EC2 launch v2, it runs as a Windows service under the local system account. However, EC2 launch when installed is a set of PowerShell scripts that can be configured for execution. Last but not the least, it is important to understand how the configuration files for these agents work. These configuration files are used to control its operation. For EC2 config, it happens to be an XML file called config.xml. For EC2 launch, it's a JSON file called launchconfig.json. And for EC2 launch v2, it's a YAML file called agent-config.yml. 
I've listed out the location for each of these files that you can see on the screen. For now, that's a wrap with the introduction to EC2 agents. In the episodes to follow, we will first start with an actual deep dive on the EC2 config service and understand some of its features and how to work with them. So please stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And if you love more such content, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Unmask It Now. Until next time.